Wednesday afternoon, 1st of April, and it's been a beautiful spring day. We've had a lovely walk this morning. I think that's, that's a blessing, isn't it, with all the other stuff going on. And I looked at the weather and it says lovely for the next week. So this is your midweek practice, a shorter practice, about 30 minutes or so. I'm not very good with timing, but we'll see how we go. Um, just go gently if you've been a bit poorly or you've been a bit tired and like with any yoga practice it's your practice so you adapt the yoga to suit you we don't adapt to suit the yoga let's start off first today in child balasana so you can take a few minutes to rest Just curling up into a little ball, going inwards, relaxing in child's pose. Giving yourself time to arrive, time to settle, time to let the week go. And if you've only got half an hour or so for yourself today, Make it this one. And your breath might be a bit shallow, a bit rapid as we start, but as you settle, the breath will get slower and easier. So no effort with the breath, no physical effort. Simply being aware of the breath moving through the body, the in-breath, the out-breath, and those pauses between the breath, where you can let go a little bit further. Eyes relax, jaw relax. Be sure you're not holding anywhere. Fingers relax. The gentle rise and fall of the breath throughout the whole body. The whole body breathing. The in breath. The out breath. The pause. And feel the breath in the back body. Feel the gentle movement of the ribs, the sides and the back, as well as the front. Feel the space you're creating. Feel the space you're creating in the lower back. Relaxing the neck, the shoulders, the forehead. Being present. Being present with this breath for this practice. And very slowly coming up from your child. And we're gonna start from standing with a little bit of flowing practice. And then we'll be on our mat doing some twists and work for the hips and side bending, the usual thing. So taking the hands in front of the shoulders, coming onto hands and knees, tucking the toes under and lifting off into down dog. So if this is the first down dog you've done today, you might want to have a play, you might want to walk, breathe in, bend the knee, breathe out, hold. Breathe in, bend the other knee, breathe out, hold, well done. You might want to rise the heels up and ease them down. Keeping the neck beautifully long. Pressing down through the front. A lovely slightly moving the tips up to the shoulders. Shoulders all the way up to your toes. And a few more breaths. I'm just going to find my music. 
use it to put on while you carry on. Face relaxed, neck relaxed, well done. Take a slow walk forward, taking the feet to the back of the wrist. And finding the forward bend and very slowly restacking the spine, curling up slowly. Coming to standing. Just checking I'm in the right place and my head's not chopped off. This little sequence is called the golden seed. I thought I don't know why it's called the golden seed. Some of you have done it with me before. Quite appropriate for the spring though. We can walk our feet a little bit apart like this, so turn the toes out so when you come down the knees can trace the ankles. It's a yang practice, which is, means a flowing moving practice. Don't be afraid to move your feet. As opposed to the yin practice where we sit slowly, or sorry, we sit and we breathe slowly and we hold the postures. And just breathe into the stretch. So we're going to move in this and get some energy going. Warm ourselves up. Taking your hands to your strong centre. We'll do three of these. Breathing in, lift. And exhale, take a seat. So we lift with the in-breath. Sit back with the out-breath. Well done. One more. And exhale. I'm going to heel toe, heel toe, heel toe out and push the walls away. Sink a little bit lower so ease the inner thighs in and knees out towards the side walls. And then maybe take a little walk here. So can you go? Working those inner thighs. Well done. Inhaling elephant's trunk into a back bend if it's right for you. And hinge from the hips. You need to bend the knees maybe. Greet the earth. Right fingertips, right inner foot, turn the right toes up and revolve to the left. Three breaths. Breathing in and out. Breathe in, lengthen the spine. Breathe out a bit more twist here. Push the right foot against the floor. Breathe in and out. Come to the center, left hand and the left foot, turn the toes up. And twist to the right. Breathe in, lengthen the spine. Breathe out a bit more twist. Breathe in, breathe out. Push the right foot down. Breathe in, breathe out. Make it a nice yummy stretch. Come down to the earth. Interlink the fingers and draw the energy up to the sky. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. In, feet hit width apart. And reach up. You've lost my arms, but that's all right. Breathe in. Breathe out, drinking bird. Move from the hips. Keep the knees soft. Inhale, rocking horse. Take a seat. So two more of these. Drinking bird with the out breath. Ribs towards the thighs. Look at the toes. Inhale, take a seat. Well done. Keep the shoulders soft. One more. The exhale. And the inhale. Come to the earth, backs of the hands together and draw up the energy. Interlink the fingers, listen to me because you've lost my hands. And exhale, push it all the way down. Take it home. Let's come again. Don't be afraid to move your feet. I'm just going to open my window. It's, it's so hot in my front room today. Now, that's better. I've got a little bit of breeze coming in now. <laughs> Start again. Breathing in and sit back a bit deeper. That's it. So let the inhale lift you up. And the exhale ground you. Get a lovely flow with your breath. And stay there. So you're going to move the feet out a bit and 
Now if you want to push the balls away, how low can you go? So push your feet into the mat, work in the other side, and then we'll take a little walk here. Watch the knees, still over the ankles. And lower. Inhale, elephant's trunk. Exhale to the earth. Right fingers, right inner foot, curl right toes up and revolve. Breathing in and out. Push down through the right foot, get a bit more lift. Breathing in and out. Breathing in, lengthen the spine and a bit more twist there. Other side. And exhale, push the left foot down, breathe in and out. And one more, breathe in and out. Come to the earth, gather up the energy, scoop up, back to the hands to the sky, grow tall. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe in, hip, feet hip width apart. Reach up, lift your heart. Drinking bird, rocking horse. And again. Get a lovely flow with your breath. That's what yoga is all about. It wouldn't be yoga if we didn't use the breath. Take a seat. So backs of the hands to the earth, gather up. Keep the backs of the hands together. When you get to the top, interlink the fingers, palms down, push down to your strong center. Let's come again one more time. So using the breath, sit back a bit more. So really root down and extend. And you come down, take it home. So we're starting to feel balanced. Really balanced between the earth and the sky. Grounded but we're light. Just imagine there's a little weight attached to your tailbone pulling you down. Well done. The elephant's trunk. And turn to the left for three breaths. Breathing in and out. Push the foot down. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. A bit more twist there. Well done. Other side. Curl the toes up and open. Breathe in and out. Push down through the left foot. The in breath, the out breath. The in breath and the out breath. Gather up the energy from the earth to the sky and reach. Heel to heel to heel to in. Separate the hands. Drinking bird. Lift your wings. Rocking horse, lift your hearts. Remember, you always move from the hips. You need to watch your back. Meet me here. Backs of the hands together and gather up. And sink the fingers, palms down. Take just take a few slow breaths, relax your shoulders, relax your face. And take, take time to check in how you feel today. What do you really need today from this practice? Why are you here? I'm going to slowly walk to the front of the mat and curl down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Once again, get that feeling of the spine being a waterfall, just hanging out of the hips for the next one. Take your hands down, come back onto hands and knees. I turn this way, it's easy for people to see me, to get the hair out of my face. I'm going to start with a few, breathing in. 
and breathing. So really moving from the tailbone up the spine to the crown of the head. Pushing down with hands and knees. Working from that nice foundation. So you can stay there. You can carry on with your cow cat. Or you can do some little circles here. So the hips. And start to make them bigger. you're circling, feel that all of the spine has a resonance in the movement. Anywhere in between the shoulders and the neck, anywhere a bit icky, let's go the other way. And you can carry on circling, or you can do a little bit of freestyle if you're a figure eight. Good swing through and back. You can be a bit inventive, but whatever you do, don't move the hands, don't move the knees. You can stretch up one side and the other. Just exploring and being aware of any areas in the body that are a bit stuck, a bit tight today. So just a few more of what Whatever you're doing here, remember it's your practice and you don't have to do everything. Well done. And when you're ready, take the knees apart. You can be wide knee child if you like. You can rest your head on your hands or your cheek to one side. Let me take the arms in front of you. Lift up on the fingertips, lift up under the armpits. Whatever feels right for you. You may want to get your chest chin down. And breathe. Feel the breath in the back body. Allow yourself to soften. Allow your heart centre to relax against the mat. Lengthen the tail. Soften the forehead. And a couple more breaths. Into a lovely stretch between the inner thigh. Good. And we come up slowly. Well done. So from here, let's take another down dog. Cut the toes under, lift the knees. Press down with the hands, lift up through the sitting bone, keep the knees bent. Draw the ribs towards the thighs, lengthen your neck. Then raise up on tippy toe into a big upside down ball. Exhale, ease the heels down. Let's do a couple more of those. Inhale, bend the knees so we can come through like an up cut. Exhale, lift the tailbone, big upside down V. Exhale, ease the heels down. Let's just do two more. Bend the knees, draw the chest through, and push on the hands as you lift the tail, lengthen the neck, ease the heels down. And then do one more. Lift up even higher. Bend the knees, draw through, and push back. Well done. And we're going to come through to a lunge. So we lift the heels off, you can lift that right leg beautifully high or not, and you can step through, take the back knee down. If this is too much for you, no worries, just bring the knees down and help it through. Meet me here. Well done. Or well, before we start, I might have to interrupt you. We are going to come into pigeon as part of this sequence, so if you do need to get up and you do want to get yourself a pillow or um, or a block. I should have said so at the beginning, if you think you need one, I'll just wait while you go and get one.
and when you're ready just taking your own time coming back to join in just check the knees over the ankle just take your hands down and, and walk those left toes back a bit and then put the front of the foot on the mat or keep the toes tucked under so you get more of a yummy stretch through the front thigh keep the hands down and we'll curl the toes up big stretch through the back of the leg bend the knee and come forward so watch that back left knee if you need to sort of take extra padding do good just a few more see if you can sink a little bit deeper it's good stretch for that front thigh muscle keep the right knee soft let's just do one more of these actually let's come back and hold it have a little wiggle with the bum. Curl the toes up more. Good, that's lovely. Keep the spine long. That might be enough. Or some of you might come forward, gaze at the toes. Nice deep breath. Some of you might even walk the hands back. We'll take them forward. Yeah, my gaze is over my toes. Some of you might bring the hands forward. Right leg. Curl the toes up more. Push back through your right sitting bone. So don't lock the knee. Just think about keeping it soft and draw it up through the thigh. One more breath. Breathing in and out. Put the front foot on the mat. And we'll open up into a version of the crescent moon for five breaths. So think again, breathing in energy, and as you breathe out, spreading that energy all the way through you to recharge you, revitalise you, and nourish you through our practice. You can look up, but lift the eyes, not the chin. Keep the back of the neck beautifully long. A couple more breaths. And exhale. Breathing in and out. Come down. Take your left hand down. And slide your left knee underneath the right. So we're coming into our seated twist here. A little bit of a wiggle so you're not sitting on your foot. And you know it's perfectly okay. Some of you like to straighten that left leg. So that's the more gentler option you choose. Let's sit beautifully tall. Fingertips on the shin. Breathe and sit tall. And breathe out, relax. Breathe in, lengthen the spine and breathe out. Feel rooted to the earth. Let's just take your fingertips lightly behind the spine. Open up as if you're giving and either give yourself a nice big hug here or take the arm there. So breathe in nice and tall. Breathe out, draw the belly in and come round a bit more. Breathe in tall. Breathe out, get the ribs round. Breathe in. Breathe out the chest. Breathe in. Breathe out the shoulders. Breathe in as you breathe out, just roll your head back. So you can just sort of take it back um, quickly. Just sort of tuck your chin and roll it back. That's going to sort of make it more gentle on the neck. Let's take a few more breaths there. Just check you're sitting beautifully tall and exhale, breathing in energy, releasing any energetic blockages. So we're going to feel quite tired in the spring, apart from this horrible virus, you know, that's worrying us all. We, our energy levels can be quite low. So you can stay there or you can take hold of the outer right foot and you can do a little bit more twist there. So gaze at your fingers. Right hand might be able to take out the right foot so we can gently guide round into your pigeon. So your pigeon, I think I'm going to come sideways on so you can see it. There you go. I might need to put a block under my left thumb cheek there. So I'm a bit wobbly. Otherwise, it might be a bit lopsided. Do that if it's right for you. Just check, take a look, check your right leg is beautifully straight, tuck the 
chairs at a book back there. Have a little wiggle. Come up on fingertips, inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, chin towards the mouth and stretch out. And let's come again, the in breath. Really grow the spine out, the pelvis, really lengthen. And exhale down. Let's do one more. Little back bend here if it's right for you. Lift your heart, meet me here everyone. And checking the hips are level. And that back, back leg's beautifully strong. We're gonna come down. So sometimes it's nice to take that left knee away a little bit. And just walk away. And ease through the hip. Some people might come forward. Let's just rest here. You might do one potato, two potato, or you might reach around the side and relax. Nice, soft, easy breath here. Letting go. Draw, relax, check you're not holding anywhere. And with each breath, feel you can sink a little bit deeper into your support, into the earth. And breathing into anywhere that's a little bit stuck, a little bit tight. And seeing if the out breath can help you to release any tension in that area. Don't try too hard. Meet any resistance with acceptance. This just comes with practice, gently being, gently being with the breath. And we can gently let go. We can gently let go of that connect let go of that connected tissue that our body is made up of. Sometimes it takes a while. See if you can soften through the right front thigh. Through the left hip. You're not holding on anywhere, are you? Jaws relax. Think, where can I let go anymore? How can I feel more grounded? And a couple more breaths. Breathing in and out. And in. And out. Come up slowly, take your little back bend, tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee, take a nice stretch through that front thigh, push the heel away, lift the thigh up even more. You get a good sewing stretch here. Then if you like, you can tuck the toes under, you can lift the leg up and we can open up that left hip and stack the hips. You can look under the left armpit, you can look under the right or no armpits. See if you can push down with the left hand so the shoulders are squared off. And of course, if you want to rest in child or just take down dog, that's all cool as well. Do what feels right for you. A couple more breaths. Can you get that heel, that, the left heel, the right heel down anymore? Good. Stretch the leg up, take the foot down, take a little walk on the spot to gently ease out. Good. And we're ready to do the other side. So I'll stay this way on, I think. It's a bit of a change. You're going to lift up your left leg, big stretch up. Draw the knee through, forehead to knee and take it through. So otherwise, remember, if you've got a more gentle practice, you bring the knees down and you might need to help that foot through. And then take the hands down. If you've got padding under the back knee, do. Stretch out your left leg. Bend the knee. It's a beautifully long spine. See if you can sink any deeper. Let's do a couple more. And 
and we're gonna hold it. So just gently easing the upper body in a left leg. Maybe push down with the heels so you can push your sitting bones away. We can come forward so we can chill there. You might want to walk the fingers back. My gaze is over my, to my toes, my chin towards my shin. So you might want to walk the fingers forward. Next might want to be like this. Take a looking forward. See if you can let go a little bit further on that out breath. That out breath is always our friend. Keep the knees soft and the work drawing up through that front thigh. And one more breath. Breathing in and out. Bend the knee. Take your right hand down. Take the right knee behind the left, and we're in our twist. Sit beautifully tall. Nice deep breaths. Check you're not sitting on your foot. You may want to straighten that underneath leg out there. Good. And then place the fingertips behind you, left fingertips open as if you're giving, and it's a hug. You can take the arm there. So breathing in tall, bring that, draw the belly. Breathing in tall is the ribs. Breathing in tall is the chest. Breathing in and out the shoulder. And next time, breathe in, breathe out, roll. Chin in to take the neck round. Watch your neck. A few more nice deep breaths here. And exhale in your own time. Really good for your energy levels. And really good for your digestive organs and to tone your liver. We need that this time of the year too. Stay there. I'll hold the outer left foot with the right hand. And we'll take a little twist a bit further. Just imagine getting your belly past your thigh. Take the other hand. And we're guiding back again to our pigeons. So come check check that you're comfortable. Walk, tuck the toes under, walk back. Maybe some of you take your block or your cushion and take a little bit of support under your bum on the right side, okay? We'll inhale, we'll draw the chest through, we'll look up, little back bend here. Exhale, chin towards the floor and stretch it up. And again, feel the spine lengthening out of the pelvis and the shoulders roll back so you make all that lovely space from the pubic bone to the throat, that's what we're looking for. We can get very hunched up around the shoulders. Beautiful, meet me here. And then think where you're going to be. I quite like to walk that right knee out of this and just take a walk there and maybe one potato, two potato there. Or come forward and let it go. So when you're relaxing there, I know that some of you might find this quite challenging, especially if you're tight in the hips. Go gently. Some people might just sit like that. Let me show you this option, and I'm sorry, perhaps I should have done before, but remember this for next time. You can always reverse this. You can always do like a figure four like that. That might be enough for you. You might hold underneath like that, or you might straighten the front leg up. So that's your... Pigeon reverse, basically. So everybody else, just a few more breaths. Breathing in, breathing out, letting go. And this side might be different from the other side. So where you're holding, where you're tight. And breathing gently into that area. See how much further you can relax. And tuck the back toes under. Lift the knee up. Well done. Take a big stretch there. And you have to big stretch up with your right leg and lift up the hip, flex the foot, step the hips, you might be resting in child now, push down with the hand, 
especially the right hand so the shoulders leveled off. You might take the pink of the right armpit on the other knee. Nice strong tummy. See if you can get that back heel down even more. A couple more breaths. Well done. Stretch up. Take the foot down. Take a little walk on the spot. Come onto your knees. And come. Time is moving on and I had more of a sequence to do, but I think I'm going to finish with a forward bend. There'll be a longer class at weekends. It's an hour's class. And get a little bit more in. Sit beautifully tall. This is just an interim class to get us through the midweek slump. I think this week is going a little bit faster than last week, though, for the thing. It, last week seemed forever. So let's breathe in and reach. Keep that lovely length through the front of the body. You might come back if it's right for you, but don't compromise your back. If your feet can lift off, no. I'm moving from the hip. Moving from the hips, my chest is leading and my spine's just coming along for the ride. It's not doing very much, it's just chilling out there really. Last one. So this might be enough. To close down the practice. You might take a stronger forward bend, you might look your toes. It might take your strap, I've remembered the strap today. <laughs> So you've got the strap, just feed it through, don't cling on to it for dear life. This is perfect. This is a forward bend. Whatever feels right for you. Take five to eight lovely deep breaths there. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in length in the spine. Breathing out, relaxing through the hips, letting go. Starting to close down the physical practice now, taking the awareness inward, slowing down the breath, slowing down the thoughts as we come towards our Shavasana. Just taking time to absorb all that good work. So two more breaths, breathing in and out. And in and out. So very slowly coming up now. Take your time. Don't rush out of a forward bend. And take time to find a comfortable position. You might want to go and get yourself a blanket. In fact, when you do these classes in future, and you might already be, just remember to have your blanket with you, any cushions, any props you need, maybe a big book if you haven't got a block. Sometimes it might be worth ordering a couple of props online if you want um, a block or a brick. They're not very expensive, especially as we might be in for the long term with this. Good. So if you're ready, we'll just lay down, get comfortable, take time to get comfy. Have a wiggle round. And when you're comfortable, resist the urge to move again. So maybe take a few slow deep breaths. Breathing in. Oh, let the physical practice go. You might sigh the breath out. And then release any effort with your breath. Release any physical effort. You want purely natural breath. taking time now to absorb all the good work we've done. With each breath, allowing yourself 
to relax back further into the mat, into the earth, feeling supported, letting go, bones heavy, muscles relaxed, breath gentle. Let's just take time now to be still, to be silent, to go into that quiet place within. Allow yourself to go inward. We'll take a few minutes of pure silence in our Shavasana. So you've got a choice. If you want to stay there, that's fine for as long as you want to. Otherwise, if you want to complete the practice now, very gently roll onto your spine, take your hand down to feel the earth and help yourself up to seated. And when you're ready, sit comfortably. We'll take our hands together. I'm just going to share with you the meaning of the word Namaste. It's got several meanings, but I like this one. I honour the place in you in which the entire universe dwells. I honour the place in you which is of love, beauty, truth and peace. When you're in that place in you, and I am in that place in me, we are one. Namaste. Thank you for sharing the practice. Have a lovely week, whatever you're doing. Stay well, stay safe. And there'll be another video soon.